Were you his only physician when he lived in Ireland? He's the only, only physician that I'm aware of, and um, I think I certainly would have been aware if he had either another physician or even if he had drugs in the house. But certainly, he had no sleeping problems when I knew him. The defense theory is, in the Conrad Murray case, that Michael Jackson was a lost soul, a nomad, if you will, after the trial ordeal in Santa Maria. He was lost and needed uh, an insomniac, sure. needed uh, drugs for this. Sure. Did you see this as his physician when he lived in Ireland? I never seen it, you know, and um, I never prescribed him any drugs for insomnia. Um, I was in his house on many occasions. I never seen any drugs in his house. Wait a minute. You never saw any uh, vials of propofol, any IV uh, Absolutely canisters? Absolutely nothing. There is another theory floated out by the defense that in the case of Conrad Murray, that Michael Jackson was very familiar with propofol, that Michael Jackson uh, had, had the ability, therefore, to inject himself with propofol. What is your reaction to that? Any time that Michael ever used propofol with us, it was in the presence of anesthetists, and he always requested that. Was there an opportunity for you to, or somebody, to administer propofol to him without an anesthetist and he insisted on having one? Absolutely. There was one time I had to go to Michael's house, and it was a few days before he met the Queen at the opening of uh, Casino Royale. Michael, after one of his other procedures, had um, an area, uh, I suppose, around his nose, and I don't want to get into too much detail because I certainly... Um, don't want to break Michael's confidentiality in any way, but needless to say, it, it, he had a hypersensitivity in this area and would require sedation. And um, I couldn't get an anesthetist to go to the house that night. I myself could have given midazolam, um, which was one of the drugs that's found in his body. I could have reversed it with an exit, but he wouldn't even do that. It would seem unusual to me that Michael would go from somebody who certainly did not use the drug that I knew, that wasn't insomniac that I knew to suddenly dying of uh, IV ICU type drug. I think it would be highly unusual for a doctor to use the combination of a benzodiazepam and um, propofol together outside the environment of an intensive care unit or without having some qualifications in anesthesiology.